why are thousands upon thousands of gold type coins being melted? With one image, I'll show you why that's happening. My name is Daniel and you are watching Coin Help You. And if you have not been paying much attention, the refineries are getting a lot of type coins, gold type coins that are being melted. Um, I know in Ohio for sure, um, I can't say all over the country, but I do know enough about it to see that this is happening very often. Along with silver uh, dimes, uh, quarters, Worsting quarters, uh, those just, uh, they're just not a lot of uh, people wanting the coins, uh, even at melt. So they're hard to sell. Everybody wants mercury dimes or walking half dollars or they want the Indian head gold or they want the St. Gaudens. They really don't want the liberties and what they call the libs. So these coins are being melted by the thousands. Okay. I will show you why that is happening. Okay. Here is one image that shows why these gold liberties, among other coins, are being melted. Here is gold sale melt, minimum $3,000, $20, $10, and $5 gold pieces. Now, you notice there's no 250s or dollars or $3 because those tend to have a little bit of a premium still. But you have some really nice looking liberty coins here. Some of them are circulated. Some of them have been cleaned a little bit or whatever. You've got some gold equals here that this dealer was selling for melt. Now, this is the thing. This was a two-day show up in Dublin, Columbus, Ohio. We had a dealer set up on Thursday. These coins sat there, in that case, just like this, the entire show until the last day. I noticed that it moved a little bit and I asked the dealer and he said he had sold one coin. One coin. Now, if this dealer was paying 95, 96% of spot, basically 5% or 3% or whatever he paid, you know, he's trying to make a very small profit margin. Let's put it that way. Now, the one thing that's happening in Ohio right now is the taxes are coming on precious metals like gold and silver. That's 7%. So this dealer pays 95%, okay, or 96 or 98, whatever he pays that he's, so he can buy these old people because people want all the money for gold. They want everything. They think you need to pay a melt for it. Well, if you do that, let's say you even pay 95%. October 1st rolls around. You walk in that shop and you want to buy these same coins for melt. And he sells them to you. That means you're going to have to pay 7% sales tax or he's going to have to cover the 7% sales tax. So you're going to actually either be paying 2% over melt or the dealer is going to lose 2% by selling them to you at melt. So you set them in the case, you tell people, hey, buy 3000 off of me total, which is not much when you consider you got the $20 here. That can add up pretty quick. The point of it is, is that why not just take it to the refinery, get your 98%, you don't have to mess with the taxes because you're not selling it for resale, you're selling it wholesale to somebody else who's going to melt it down or sell it. So that's really the best course of action for someone who has thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in gold tied it. You got that's dead capital. So why would you keep them? So that's the reason why some of these are being melted. It's sad, but why wouldn't anybody want these coins? I mean, you're getting them at melt. Buy three thousand, you get it at melt. Why weren't people buying these? So this is a problem you run into as a dealer. Um, these coins will probably end up going to the refinery, um, you know, unless somebody, you know, buys them. I just wanted to um, kind of open people's eyes up a little bit to what's going on in Ohio. It has a lot to do with the sales tax, too. And it's not the only reason. you still having thousands of dollars tied up in gold coins that nobody wants. It's just, what are you going to do with them? You know, you, that's just the way it works. When they are melted down, I know some of them are being sent to the Canadian Mint and different mints, and they become modern bullion coins. So, you know, they're just being transformed, basically. And I know it's kind of sad to some people, but that's how it's going. That's what's going on. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.